My name is Brian Beam, and I'm the Motion Design Director at Rooster Teeth Productions in Austin, Texas. We are, are known primarily for an animated web series called Red vs. Blue um, that at this point is the, the longest continuously running American sci-fi series of all time. It's the longest running web series of all time, and we make silly internet videos for the web. Rooster Teeth produces content across a whole bunch of platforms. It runs the gamut from animation to live action shorts to movies to like, we have like roughly like 45 different shows that are going on anyway. I mean, it's a crazy amount of material. We're always trying to focus on making the thing that we want to watch. Um, on the design team, I have this rule that we talk about all the time called the That's So Stupid rule, where we know that we've hit a sweet spot for a project when our hand goes in front of our mouth and we go, oh my God, that's so stupid. Creative Cloud is a big part of everything that we do at Rooster Teeth. I've been using After Effects for 20 years now and like, it's, uh, I don't even really think about it in terms of the program anymore. It's just this intuitive thing that's in the back of my head. And, you know, apps like Photoshop and Illustrator, like, I mean, they, I couldn't do my job if I didn't have access to like photo manipulation and um, you know all these tools. Uh, and so it was like the company runs on Adobe. I love the fact that it's just really easy for me to send stuff from Premiere to After Effects. Um, and lately I've been doing a lot of sound design um, and sending stuff from Premiere over to Audition. And like that's really neat not having to export an OMF and just being able to, to click send entire project and have it take all of my fades and everything else um, is awesome. Yeah. I, was, I was sharing with one of our editors the other day how to use the limiter in the essential sound panel. We had to export some stuff for one of our um, platforms that we distribute video to and uh, you know they had some very specific requirements for what we spit out sound-wise, and he needed to make sure that it hit at a very specific decibel range. And you know, the essential sound panel allowed him to very quickly go in and set some limits so that you know he could export it the way he needed to. I'm really excited about the motion graphics templates. You know, when we develop for a show, a lot of times we're touching that show at that point in time, but that we're not going to have time to circle back around to it until we're probably replacing those assets. And so editors and other people in live action are, are taking on those assets and updating them. And so being able to create better templates that we can pass on to them when we're doing our initial work is a huge deal. Man, it's really hard to say what's up next for Rooster Teeth. There are so many different things that I'm excited about. Um, I'm really excited for the second season of Day 5, which is our sci-fi drama. I'm excited for Laser Team 2. I just finished working on some stuff that was on set, and it's bigger and funnier and dumber. Um, and uh, man, there's so many things. I, I, I'm just really excited at the fact that we get to go in and create things that make us laugh every day. And, I'm excited to do more of that.